Rashtriya Chemicals and Fertilizers Limited. RCF is a public sector undertaking PSU in India under the Ministry of Chemicals and Fertilizers of the Government of India, based in Mumbai. RCF is the fourth largest producer of fertilizers in India after Coromandel International, NFL, Chambal and GSFC. Topic: History Rashtriya Chemicals and Fertilizers Limited, a government of India undertaking, was established in 1978 consequent to the reorganization of Fertilizer Corporation of India. RCF manufactures urea and complex fertilizers NPK along with a wide range of industrial chemicals. It is fourth largest urea manufacturer in India after IFFCO, NFL and KRIBHCO. The Government of India through the President of India holds 75% of the share capital of the company as of December 2018. Topic manufacturing unit Trombay unit, multi-product integrated fertilizers and process chemicals factory in Mumbai spread across 765 acres including township, ISO 14001, ISO 50001, OHSAS 18001 and ISO 9001 accredited, manufactures ammonia, urea, subhala, ANP, methanol, nitric acid, sulfuric acid, etc. Tal unit, large producer of urea along with industrial chemicals located 100 km south of Mumbai spread across 997 acres including township, ISO 14001, OHSAS 18001 and ISO 9001 accredited manufactures ammonia, urea, methylamines, formic acid etc. Topic. Corporate social responsibility Topic. Farmers' meetings Soil sample collection and interpretation of results is the subject of many farmer meetings held in different villages of the country. Educating farmers about soil sample collection and interpreting the analysis reports enables dissemination of accurate technical information up to the grass root level. Wide publicity to this kind of programs is given through radio, newspapers and television. Topic. Field days, fertilizer days, soil testing days These are normally organized on the fields of the farmers. Demonstrations are conducted during soil sample collection or fertilizer application. Subjects related to agriculture such as soil testing, balanced use of fertilizers, importance of RCF products and their benefits, methods of application, crop protection etc. are discussed followed by question-answer session. Crop and product literature is distributed to the farmers for reference while carrying out different operations in the field. Banners, exhibition stalls are displayed at the venue. Agricultural officers, scientists, government officers from village panchayat, panchayat samiti, zilla parishad, agriculture department, agricultural universities participate and guide farmers. Printing of invitation card prior to the program is done and distributed in the village and surrounding villages. Refreshments are given to participating farmers. Normally 50 to 70 farmers attend this kind of agricultural programs. Topic: <inaudible> Micronutrient analysis. In addition to the basic soil testing, micronutrient analysis is also becoming increasingly important, especially since many soils in India are found to be deficient in one or more of the micronutrients. Availability of micronutrients in the right proportion in the soil ensures higher productivity of farming. RCF's Trombay Laboratory is engaged in the analysis of micronutrients. This analysis is done at a nominal rate of 80 rupees per per sample. Topic: <laughs> Dealer training programs. In addition to sharing knowledge with farmers, RCF also imparts training to its dealers. RCF recognizes that the dealer is a very important part of the knowledge chain and it is the dealer towards whom the farmer looks at for any advice on agriculture-related problems. RCF's dealer network is widespread and local level training programs about the various products of the company, their appropriate use with the other agro inputs are regularly organized. The programs also cover government policies they act as forums to inform the dealer about future products and marketing alliances of the company. Topic. 
Topic: Earn while you learn. RCF has designed a scheme called, Earn While You Learn. It allows the students to get an insight into working of organizations and get a feel of corporate culture. Under this scheme, students from BSc Agriculture courses are selected to undertake various promotional activities as part of their vocational training. Appropriate stipend is paid to them which helps them to supplement their family income. Topic. Farm Field Schools The Department of Agriculture has started implementing farm field schools in Maharashtra by involving groups of 30 farmers with a group leader called Sanchalak who monitors the agricultural activities being carried out in the farm field schools. RCF participated in 15 farm field schools in Jalna district. Cotton is main cash crop of the farmers in Vidava and Marathwada region and American balworm is a major pest which damages the cotton crop. Hence, integrated pest management in cotton was a subject matter chosen for the farm field school. The demonstration of Sujala was organized in all the 15 farm field schools. 450 farmers benefited from this scheme. Topic. Rural sports. Rural sports are organized at village, block level with the educational institutes and different sport organizations. This intends to encourage children from rural backgrounds to participate in sports. Topic. Veterinary camps These are organized with the help of Animal Husbandry Department of the State in areas where appropriate veterinary facilities are not available. Free medicine is distributed and complete health checkup of animals is conducted. Topic: Medical camps. The company also organizes medical camps in backward tribal areas of the state. These camps are organized with the help of state government's health department, voluntary organizations, NGOs, Lions and Rotary Club. Medicines are distributed free of cost. Topic: Rainwater harvesting. Small farmers depending on rainwater are the worst hit during a drought. RCF promoted the concept of Vanrai Bandara and well recharging and launched a huge drive to disseminate this knowledge to farmers. In addition, used empty bags of fertilizer required to construct the Vanrai Bandaras are supplied free of cost through different government agencies. Topic. Distribution of mini kits During Krishi Melis in backward and very low fertilizer consuming areas, RCF's products in smaller packing are distributed to the participating farmers to encourage them to use right types of fertilizers. Topic. Training to students Training is imparted to NSS students from various colleges of Maharashtra. 